In 1595, a widow sold the lordship to a soldier, the Lord of Richicourt. He had a fortified castle built there, the main building, surrounding walls, and the two north towers, protected by a drawbridge and a deep moat. This work was completed in 1600. The outer buildings were built when ordered by the family, who remained the castle owners until 1676. The castle was then sold, and the new owners had the drawbridge replaced by a stone bridge. It was sold during the revolution as national property. The castle is considerably renovated, and the framework and the roof of the two western towers are completely redone, 5 meters high instead of 10. The portal is restored. The west building bears a stone engraved in 1809. The middle of the 19th century was the start of a slow deterioration. The family that owned the property from 1910 to 1976 undertook work to adapt the premises to agricultural use. The main building was largely transformed into a stable. The southeast tower, which was the old chapel, became a granary, and the two north towers housed pigs. In 1917, a bombardment destroyed the northeast tower and part of the stables. The stable building had been modified on the courtyard side. In 1946, the castle was registered in the Inventory of Historic Monuments. In 1989, the main building collapsed, and a few years later, the barn collapsed. The castle was then permanently abandoned.
The two eastern towers also collapsed. The storm of 1999 and the squatters did the rest. In 2006, the castle was sold, and work began to consolidate and preserve what already existed. In 2007, following a storm, a large part of the wall of the main building collapsed as well as the farm it supported, leaving the roof empty. In April 2013, the first Jeet opened its doors. It can accommodate groups of up to 19 people. In December 2015, the second Jeet opened for rental to accommodate groups of up to 26 people. In June 2021, the last slates were laid, completing the roofing work. The renovation continued in the main building, and a large reception room on the ground floor opened. The final result is a beautiful recovery from ruin. 